Welcome back to Toronto Wine Drinker, torontowinedrinker.com, and pretty exciting, we're in the Aiello Wine Cave. The Wine Cave. And I'll tell you what, I've got an exclusive right now because I'm the only one besides uh, people that made a, might have brought down like an iPhone camera or something. I've got a real camera in here. It's an exclusive for me. The place looks great. How did this happen? How did this come about? Um, well, we found the space a couple of months ago and we've basically been renovating since. It's always been a dream of ours at Aiello. So we made it happen. Yeah, it looks, really exciting. looks it looks great down here. They have they have like couches over here. There's a record player. This mm -hmm. chair looks like my dad would want to watch football on that chair. It looks <laughs> well, like, like I said, there's no TV. There's no TV. There's no television down kind here. Kind of unfortunate, but no. we can work on that. The point is to focus on the wine. Ah, okay. And you've got like I'll get shots of this even though she won't want me to because there's stuff lying around like you know <laughs> stuff ready for Christmas and things. But there's like cat like empty wine casks that have been turned into tables. There's a stack of I don't know like. 250 glasses over there, which I'm sure will be used soon. Plates and beer nuts down here. This is a great place. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's perfect for um, small tastings and events. No, nah. now it's not, and I like it's not a bar. No, it's a private space, so it okay. has to be rented out, and we host all of the tastings and events here. Nice, and so if you do get an invite, this is where it is, and it's uh, the back alley off. Uh, the, not, it's like south of Queen Street, the alley, right? Yeah, but right yeah. downtown, um, basically. Where the Rex Jazz Hotel is, if you just go just south of Queen, um, the alley runs between Simcoe and Duncan, Duncan mm -hmm. and we're here. Yeah. We're here and we're ready to rock. <laughs> and you've got an event, one two days, I think. Two days on Thursday is our first event. Wow, you guys must be really happy. We're so excited. Is that a dartboard? It is. You even have a dartboard. We have here. a dartboard. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm sure these winemakers don't mind having their wine on the screen the whole time. This was supposed to be a discussion about uh, one of your wine classes, but I had to talk about the wine cave. So let's move on to the wine. What are we looking at today? So basically, we're discussing romantic red blends. This is all part of our mm. I Yellow Loves Local program. Mm. We're actually doing the wine school classes right now at the Ritz. Um, they wrap up next week, so we're just finishing up the rest of the program. Today, we're discussing the um, the fifth class. Mm. So red blends mm -hmm. um, of different varietals, so... Yeah, no, 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 you didn't call it red blends before. What did you call that class before? Romantic red blends. The romantic red blends. Yes. Yes, because you've also got the what? What's the other class? Uh, Meet Your Dream Red, Meet we will also dream. be discussing today. The Island Wine Club, not just a wine tasting group, it's we're, also... We're in love with wine. Yeah. We really are. A little bit of a singles club, I like it. Okay, <laughs> um, so let's uh, talk about the wine you've got open right now. You wanted me to try what? I'm going to pour for you the Open Cab Squared Merlot. Mm -hmm. So it's a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. Okay. And it's from Niagara, VQA, uh, mm -hmm. Niagara in the Lake. And basically it's, um, it's a medium to full bodied red blend. It's got notes of, on the nose mm -hmm. and on the palate, of like rich, juicy red berries. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 2011, 11 vintage and it retails in the LCBO for 11.95. Wow. So if you're like me, you're going to agree that this is a really easy drinking, very affordable red wine. Let's try it. Okay. Well, you're not wrong. Easy drinking, it's good. Yeah. And by the way, I just have to throw this out there. Like when I like sip a wine and say like it's good, I'm not putting you on. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty good. And at 11.95, that's uh, pretty much a steal, isn't it? It really is. Um, also in the Romantic Red Blends class, we did the Rife Estates uh, 2010 Meritage. And 2010 was a phenomenal year for red wines in Ontario okay. because we had a consistently warm climate. Uh, the reds just really survived. The skins really survived the heat. Um, and they produced really nice, full-bodied, luxurious reds. And this one will not disappoint. It's $24.95, also available in the LCBO. $24.95 now, and it's, it's got that word meritage on it. And we were laughing before when we were off camera. We were talking <laughs> about how um, a sommelier a friend of mine, whenever she serves uh, meritage, and I'll get a close-up so you can see the word, uh, she often gets reminded by her customer, no, it's meritage, but it's not, is it? It's actually meritage, like yeah. heritage. Yeah, it's, it's uh, to rhyme with meritage. And do you mind if I, I go to the uh, the phone really quickly to do the definition? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So we, because we were discussing this <laughs> and we didn't want to sound like fools, so we'll just read it right from Wikipedia. But meritage is a brand for red and white Bordeaux style wines without infringing on the Bordeaux region's legally protected designation of origin. Winemakers must license the meritage trademark from its owner, the California based Meritage Alliance. Member wineries are found principally in the United States, but obviously also in Canada and other places around the world. So basically, it's a Bordeaux blend. Am not I right? Made in Bordeaux. Not made in Bordeaux, and not calling it a Bordeaux blend, so Absolutely. you don't get in trouble. Yeah, it's basically okay. like saying VQA mm -hmm. without the wines actually being, you know, grown, harvested, and produced. Okay. In the region that the grapes are from, so okay. VQA Ontario, all of the grapes 
are from Ontario. I got you. So to call it Meritage means it's still got the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Merlot, and the what? Um, Generally? Cabernet Franc. Cabernet There's Franc. Sometimes a couple of other varietals. But those are the main ones. Those are the three main. Okay. And the um, Rife Estates, I believe it's 45% Cabernet Sauvignon. Wow. Um, you know your stuff. And then I think it's 40% Merlot and 50% Cabernet Franc. Does that add up to 100? It does. <laughs> 85 plus 15. <laughs> That's and it's, awesome. uh, it's predominantly oak, uh, aged in oak barrels. Nice. And yeah. so these are both available at LCBO? They are. 11.95 and 24.95. Lovely. All right. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, and what are we talking about next? So this was the Romantic Reds, and you're going to tell me a next video about what? Meet Your Dream Red, in the, case you haven't already found it. The Meet Your Dream Red. <laughs> thanks, Mandy. Cheers.